are the things which happen suddenly. Okay. So, mature and hypermature cataracts pose many difficulties during surgery and some of them tearing of the capsule is one major such complication. Other issues like zonular weakness, calcification of capsule, very hard nucleus, other factors which cause GVP are some more. Now what are the salient features? The main problem is an increased intralenticular pressure and the capsule is very fragile. Usually there are systemic associations, general neglect and the nucleus is hard and may have retinal afflictions also. This is how it looks like a bag of milky white substance. And we all know about this sign known as Argentinian flag sign. We all know Lionel Messi for football and that's what Argentina's flag looks like but we know it for some other reason. And why exactly does it happen? Because the white cataracts and intumescent cataracts have an increased pressure created by the hyperhydration of lens fibers which can cause spontaneous tears in the cap capsule on poking for a capsulorexis. Before I go into my technique, I would like to uh, say a word about bandage. What is a bandage? We all know bandages. It causes immobilization, reduces further damage, prevents wound from spreading and stability. We have the viscoelastic substances which are cohesive and dispersive. Cohesive as we know, it maintains the space and dispersive for endothelial protection. The mechanism is that the cohesive viscoelastics adhere well to themselves and through intramolecular interactions therefore resist the cleavage and they have high pseudoplasticity. So there are two steps to this technique. First is cohesive viscoelastic acts as a bandage flattening the anterior capsule and the second is when you puncture and whitish milky fluid is coming, you quickly aspirate it with a 26 gauge hydrodissection cannula. Thus, I'll show the animation at the end. The advantages are it is extremely simple, no excess, excessive instrumentation is required, easy to learn, inexpensive and a high success rate. Argentinian flag sign completely can be avoided by this technique and doing hypermature cataract is no longer difficult. So dual technique helps us be great surgeons and let us remember Argentina for football gold cup rather than Argentina flag sign. Now I'll show you a video. It's an animation. Yeah, it's a very short animation. Self-explanatory. We're putting the cohesive viscoelastic which flattens the anterior capsule. Capsulotomy. Aspiration of the liquefied cortical matter. Faco emulsification followed by placing the IOM and washing away the visco. So it can be largely simplified by doing this technique and the success rate is very very high even in inexperienced hands also the cohesive viscoelastic acts as a bandage. Thank you. Thank you ma'am. Uh, how is your experience regarding with an air bubble? Uh, Ma'am, despite the air bubble, what happens is air bubble is not that strong to avoid uh, this kind of, you know, sudden rupture. Uh, I, if you see, it happens so suddenly that the air bubble also, you know, it's a good thing. There are lots of other techniques like you use a FACO itself to do a puncture. Then you can uh, uh, do, you know, in bits and pieces, like in circles, you can go and do the capsular excess, which requires a very high level of skill firstly. And secondly, this technique, if you put a good uh, viscoelastic, that is a uh, cohesive viscoelastic, and then carry on, you have enough time to suck out the liquefied cortical matter and then the regular way you can do the rest of the surgery. So that's why I, I in my hands, I've done 69 such cases, though I've not done the statistical analysis. Not even a single case I faced after I discovered this kind of a technique, I have not faced any problem with any kind of cataract. 
that's right thank you